Last week or so, the official Elder Scrolls Online Twitter account put out some promotions for the Necrom chapter or Update 38, listing things like new zones, 30 hours of unique story content, the new Arcanist class, of course, a new trial, new companions, new world events, new earnable cosmetics, a new card game deck, new item sets, and so on and so on. However, one of these things listed is inaccurate. And that's the four new mythics being mentioned in the promo. In ESO, mythics are one piece bonus item pieces that are supposed to offer huge power with a caveat or drawback. ESO was supposed to release four mythics based on what we know from the early playtesting before the public test server cycle. However, if you go onto the PTS right now, you'll find that there are only three new mythics available for player testing. This includes the Velocity Herb Mage's amulet that offers penetration, minor force, and 15% more damage done to monsters while reducing your light attack and heavy attack damage by 99%. Crypt Cannon Investments, which lets you transfer your ultimate resources to your group members while giving minor heroism at the cost of essentially not having an actual ultimate to use. And Esoteric Environment Greaves, which now reduces your direct damage taken by 50% at the cost of stamina every half a second when hit. And if you look at the PTS patch notes, they only mention three mythics, and confirm that indeed, there are only three mythics that are available to players or will be available to players once Necrom launches. The fourth missing mythic from the early playtest is what I labeled Mythic C, which said, if you do not have any set bonuses active that require X or more items, you increase your damage done by X percent, reduce your damage taken by X percent, and increase your healing done by X percent. Basically, this mythic was the Mark and Ring of Majesty mythic on steroids. I'm curious to know if this mythic isn't coming out because it was too strong, or not balanceable, or if it was just too late to make a different mythic in place of it. For those of you who have some hopes of this mythic coming out, maybe in update 39 for quarter 3 DLC, I wouldn't raise your hopes too high for that because this isn't actually the first time a mythic has gone missing. In 2021 for the Blackwood chapter, a mythic we know as the Harvester's Hope Ring was supposed to come out but it never did then or after in subsequent patches. The Harvester's Hope Ring actually increased the likelihood of harvesting more materials on the crafting node over time while not affecting surveys or event boxes. I think this mythic in particular would have been cool or some sort of mythic that lets you engage with non-combat aspects occasionally would be cool in general for the future. Anyway, not sure what happened with that mythic either, but yes, you will only be able to get your hands on three mythics, not four mythics, with the Necrom chapter, at least for the foreseeable future. If you guys want to keep up to date with more ESO things like this, definitely do subscribe to the channel and support us. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.